Duncan from Rock and Roll Reviews and I'm joined by Protest the Hero on their new tour just now, travelling around the UK. How's it going guys? It's going great. Yeah, couldn't complain. We're with a fine bunch of young gentlemen <laughs> and uh, great bands, great guys, great times. Awesome, awesome. So your newest album, Volition, came out just towards the end of last year, it was October time? Yeah. This year. And then it was kind of funded by Indiegogo campaign. Was that something that you had dabbled in before, or was this your first time using kind of, kind of fan funded? Yeah, this is definitely our uh, our first time using crowdfunding or crowdsourcing. And uh, I don't know that it'll be our last because it was uh, very successful. It was, yeah, yeah. I mean, the, the, I, I remember seeing like one of the things that kind of caught my attention straight away was kind of did like a really kind of quirky video as well and it was really engaging and I thought that was because there's a lot of campaigns that get posted but you tend to find it's just like water and the fact was you guys can age with your fans so you're, you're really good with your fans anyway and I think that shows with the kind of interest the fan participation back into it so um, you were saying obviously it's a good experience um, was it quite daunting recording an album knowing that you know, do you have to deliver for the fans, or was it something that wasn't really back in the back of your head? Yeah, I mean, it is and it isn't. Cause it's like, at the end of the day, you can only do as well as you can, as well as you're capable of. So, I mean, that was in the back of my mind the entire time, but at some point you have to kind of say, uh, I'm just going to do this. And that's all it is. That's all you can fucking do. So, whether it's for the fans or it's for yourself. I think it's exactly that it's in the back of your mind, not in the forefront of your mind. Yeah, so you keep in mind who you're accountable to, mm -hmm. uh, and it's the fans, and that's a flattering and amazing thing. But then I think that if you make too big of a deal of it, it will become a daunting process, like yeah. you said. So the idea is to try and make it as easy as possible. And approaching this album, how did that differ from, say, Scholar, uh, Scholarless? Can you say that word today? Um, how did I mean? Did you change anything in the way you usually approach writing an album, or was it just kind of organic? I don't know that we've ever had a usual approach. It sort of seems, <laughs> it seems like every time we uh, record an album, it's sort of done, done a little bit differently, and certainly this year is no exception. Um, I guess sort of in the interest of being a progressive band, I think sort of altering the approach, you know, effectively sort of helps to sort of actually genuinely be progressive. Yeah, yeah. Well, for better or for worse. Because <laughs> <Yeah, right. laughs> um, we, um, our man Callum from the site, who's not here unfortunately, is coming to the gig today, but he's not doing the interview, he's a bit shy. Um, he reviewed the album for us, like, he gave it 5 out of 5, said um, basically, and it was like completely come to form. Not that I think he's had ever lost the form, to be going there. The beer bells! The beer bells are ringing! The beer bells! Oh, yeah. Is that a phrase that gets you used all the form? Well, occasionally, the beer bells. Every time a bell rings, a boozer gets a beer. Cheers. 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 The vibe of the vibe. Yeah, five out of five. And I mean, we all loved it on the site as well. We do like a radio show as well um, for a site and uh, yeah. playing like those singles and stuff like that. Getting really good, really good interest off it as well. And people, I mean, I think the thing is as well, you guys are you, one of these bands that seem to really enjoy being on tour. Um, there's a lot of bands that maybe enjoy doing the studio thing, maybe not necessarily join the tour part. But that comes through, especially in performances as well. Um, this will be my first time that I've seen these, but um, I've been like, YouTube checking his out and stuff like that. So you know just how terrible we are. <laughs> <laughs> and he's still at the show. <laughs> no, I think you guys are awesome. Um, I think the, the thing is, well, you kind of sound quite unique. And what I was going to ask is, are there other bands out there that you've heard that are coming up that kind of really kind of push their own mold as well that you think, maybe not necessarily similar to you, but you know, have kind of a clear idea what to do and continue on? Because Canadian music seems really fucking good at the moment. Like, there's a lot of Canadian bands that are kind of, I'm a huge cancer bands fan. Yeah, for a start. I'm sure it's weird. <laughs> so that's right. Massive. And I think they just seem to, you guys just seem to take music and just put your own spin on it. And it just seems to be really authentic. Is there anyone else we should be looking at? It's very kind of you to say. I mean, I guess it's, I think it sort of breaks down into two categories. That there are bands that feel disingenuous, and there are bands that feel genuine. And there are loads on either on, on either side. And I mean, I think that that's... Uh, you don't even necessarily have to like the way a band sounds in order to feel it, whether you're doing it with any conviction or not. Yeah, yeah. Uh, cancer Bats, I mean, anyone who's seen them live can attest to the fact that, like, they really I mean, they wear their heart on their sleeve and they put on a marvelous performance. Flattering being from the being fellow uh, countrymen from yeah. Torontonians. 
Oh yeah, well we're obviously mentioning about the weather as well. We tend to find some bands that, you know, if they come from a particularly cold area, the music tends to sound quite bleak. Do you think that has, like, coming from Toronto, that's had any influence on, on the way you write your music? Or? Um, Indirectly. I think we try and play faster to stay warmer. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the, you know, the one positive thing about cold, cold weather, I'll say, and this is uh, my parents moved out of Iran and could have moved to any country in the world, and sometimes in the dead of winter I ask them why they bothered to go to Canada. But I think what's nice about having four proper seasons, well, you know, cold and hot, yeah, yeah. is that uh, it keeps you in check. I mean, you start to know that you're always under the thumb of Mother Nature and you're not bigger than the elemental forces around you. So uh, hopefully that sort of uh, kept some sort of cap on our egos or something like that. But uh, no, I don't think there's any direct influence yeah. between the... Uh, I'd love to lay around on a beach and write an album. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Write the, like, laziest <laughs> album. Yeah. You know, ukulele fucking... <laughs> Yeah, a cocktail song. To be <laughs> so after this tour, what's next for Protest Hero? Any any festivals or anything this year? Or? Uh, yeah, we're we're doing a quick run in the states. Well, not a quick run, actually, a quite long run <laughs> uh, in the states. And then I think we're coming back to Europe for some festivals. Excellent, excellent. Mm -hmm. And. I know your new album's just come out, but have there been any, I mean, do you guys write on your tour bus, or is it like, you don't think about a new album until... Yeah, I don't, I, I don't know, a lot of bands write on the road, we've never been one of those bands. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know, we just, we basically we allocate a certain amount of time to sit down and write, yeah. and uh, that's how we do it, but, I don't know, you know, the writing style is always changing, so we're always open to new ideas, but... That's something we've never done, yeah. something we've never explored. Travel, I mean, being on tour is not the most, uh, I think it's, a, it's not the most comfortable place to yeah. sort of write music. I think this is where you sort of take things in, and then hopefully when you have a moment to approach it, it sort of embellishes your creativity with the variety of experience that you've sort of yeah. uh, underwent. But it's more like research, more than development. <laughs> <laughs> Our site um, does primarily punk rock and metal reviews of albums. We also do movies as well and we kind of like to throw everyone on the spot with this question but um, if you are at the movies, is there anything you've seen recently that you really liked or anything that you thought, you know, why did I waste two hours on that? <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm so bad at films. I, mean, I, I watch Sherlock Holmes and The Simpsons, okay. Frasier, Frasier. Uh, uh, Faulty Towers <laughs> and that's about it, sort of like on a loop in my life and None of those are really movies, I control the television. <laughs> and that, yeah, so I would be the wrong guy to ask. Yeah. I mean, like, if, when a celebrity dies, I rarely know who he or she yes. was. Yeah. I mean, I'm just more Yeah, yeah, I feel like <laughs> I'm just learning about this Michael Jackson guy, though. Yeah. <laughs> Wonderful act. He's a, no, he's a criminal. <laughs> he's a betterist. Uh, I like all movies. Mm -hmm. I'll watch fucking any movie. If you can find a movie that I'll turn off, it's either because it's scary and I'm chicken shit, or it's because it's got to be one of the worst fuck pieces of shit in the world. Yeah. So I watch any, any fucking. I, I, I went to the theaters to see Saving Mr. Banks, and I fucking loved it. Hey, it's a, it's up for awards, man. Yeah. I can't be that bad. Now, yeah, you know, it was very good. I liked it a lot. But I like that's the thing. Like I'll watch any movie start to finish, and I would usually like. It. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not very discriminating when it comes to movies. <laughs> Put a movie up. up. That's okay. I watched a movie the other day called Standing Up about these two kids uh, that through the powers of God found each other and overcame bullying. I was like, I said completely, I categorically disagree with a lot of things that happened in the movie, but at the end of it I was like, hey, that's pretty good. <laughs> well, thank you very much for your time. I know you're busy, guys. And uh, Volition is still out there to buy, so make sure you go out and buy it just now. Thanks very much, guys. Thank you. Cheers. Thanks Thank for you. having us. Thank you.